On these Knicks, man, as I said, the NBA season is just around the corner. New York Knicks making waves this offseason by trading for Mikal Bridges. Also, uh, re-signing OG Ananobi. What, what do you think about the squad this year, man? Um, I think they're going to – I mean, they have to do better than they did last year. I mean, I thought they were going to go to the Eastern Conference Finals. You know, got hampered with injuries. You know, that happens. Uh, I mean, I was at the first game against Philly – in New York, so you know, it was my it was my first game back um, in the Garden since I last played there. So it was good to be back. You know, the fans treat me well. They all they always treat me well out there. But I would I'd like to see them do good. You know, you always want teams that you play for, you know, to kind of be successful, so you could go back, check the young guys out, and watch them play. But I think I think they're on the up and up. You know, with Jalen Brunson being out there and being the catalyst of that team, being the head of that snake. Um, I think they go as far as he goes. Well, was that your first game watching him in person, like at this stage of his career? Yeah, I mean, it's the first time being in, in the Garden since I since I retired when I last played with, with, with the Knicks. Uh, but just watching him play, I mean, just his aggressiveness and the way he carries the team. Um, he's, he's a soldier, you know I mean? He goes out there, he play, he puts the team on his back. I just love his game. You know, it kind of, it kind of reminds me of, you know, of when I was playing, you know, mid-range, you get to the basket, he's tough, and, you know, likes to take the big shot. And you got the Jersey connection, right? You, you're from Cherry Hill. He's from New Brunswick. So, uh, yeah, I mean, not, everybody said I'm from New Jersey. But I mean, I was born. So when my dad was playing for the Sixers, we were driving through back to Philly, and my mom couldn't hold me no more. So I had to, we stopped over, <laughs> pulled over, had me in New Jersey. Boom, we drove right back to Philly. So it's kind of like a quick. It was a quick thing, <laughs> a, qu- a quick, a quick stop in Jersey. <laughs> yes. I, I, I got you, man. And you know, on the you know Brunson's performance is, is certainly going to be noted as he's going to be in the spotlight this year. Finished top five in the MVP voting last year. Do you think he could do it again, especially with the additions of Bridges and, and Randall coming back? I mean, I think he's going to have to. You know, I mean, just to keep his game up there in order for the team to be successful. I think he has to do the same, have to play the same way that he played last year. And that's care everybody and, you know, do every, be Mr. Everything for the Knicks. And that's what he did last year. How does he get that one, two potent combination like UNC Webb had? How does he build that with Julius Randle? Um, it's, it's different. You know I mean? Run a little bit more pick and roll, but you know, I mean, it's two different types of games between Webb and Randall, you know, um, Webb was the one probably the top three passers to ever play the game. And, you know, I mean, he was the alpha dog. We, you know, everybody – I mean, the big thing about him playing with Webb is that he held himself accountable. And that's what kind of everybody else fell on the line. We looked up to that. You know, I, I played on a lot of teams where a lot of guys didn't hold themselves accountable. And, and, I mean, once you hold yourself accountable, you know, everybody trusts everybody and then you go from there.